Camera, action. No, 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 God damn it, no, 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 but hell no, shit, no, piss, no, fuck, no, no, God damn it, no. Are you mad? I'm sorry. Don't cry. I didn't mean, it's, it's just that, well, I just want to be clear this time. Sheila, please, please let me explain. Well, it's just that we've been married for three months, right? And you don't really seem to understand when I'm saying no to something. You know? Alright, sometimes I'm not very clear. It's just that back at home, people used to communicate different, you know? Alright. Let me give you an example. If Freddie and Roger were coming over, uh, say wanted me to go fishing, they say something like, hey Ed, you want to go fishing? And I'd pause just a second and say, I don't think so. Like, th they understand that I don't want to go and say, okay, catch you later and leave. Or, if I really wanted to be sure, not to hurt their feelings, I'd say something like, well, right before I started talking. So, they'd say, hey Ed, you wanna go to Shirley's and drink a beer? I'd say, well, and pause, just right there. Like I thought, like I'm thinking about it, but fully well knowing that I'm not gonna go and say, I don't think so. Like I thought about it and I almost decided to go, but at the last minute I decided not to. And they say something like, okay, catch you later, and leave. I know it's not your fault, but it's just that when I say, well, you just think I'm not sure about something. And then you plow on in with all these other reasons and arguments trying to convince me, trying to do whatever it is that you want me to do, but at the end, I either have to give in or break your heart. And I don't really want to do that. So I thought, next time, next time I have to be clear, more forceful, up front. I guess when he asked me if I wanted the last piece of the apple pie, I kind of got carried away. <laughs>